coming home for dinner? Uh, probably after eight. I have some leads I need to sift through for this arms dealing case. Okay, love you, here she is. Daddy wants to talk to you. Hi, Daddy, I just saw you a minute ago. I know, Pumpkin. Wanted to call you and thank you for this delicious lunch you gave me. The chocolate chips and the tuna fish were my idea. Of course it was. You're very creative. I'll see you tonight, Angel. Love you, bye, Daddy. Bye. He loved the chocolate chips. Are you sure about that? Yep, he said it was delicious. Look, I said I'm sorry. It doesn't matter, I saw what you did. You think one rose is gonna help it? I just paid five bucks for that. I don't care, go buy 12 Are... more. Honey, get back in your seat. Look, Mommy, your white rose, my favorite. Elizabeth, get back here. You can't ever, ever do that ever again. Look at me, you could have been killed, okay? Okay, Mommy, I won't. You just have to be careful. I will, Mommy. I just want to get that Sam Ma'am this rose. Okay. This is for you, sir. I don't want you to be sad anymore. Well, thank you, young lady. Thank you very much. And you do what your mother told you. Thank you. She's a miracle. A true gift from God. Due to a prior accident, I didn't think I was able to have children of my own. But right before my husband Steve and I were about to adopt, I got pregnant, and this was our gift, our angel. All children are special, but some have that extra special something, that twinkle in their eyes, that kind and gentle heart that reaches out and touches everyone around them. That's her Elizabeth. It's the small acts of kindness that we all seem to neglect. Not Elizabeth. She was like that ever since the day she was born, constantly on her own little mission from God. I'm home. Hi, Mommy. Hi, honey. I missed you. How'd you do on your spelling test today? I got 100. 100? That's awesome. Mom, well, I played a game of hiding with six today, and Mark played too. Mark, is he new? No, Mom, I told you about Mark before. Remember, he's sad. Oh, yeah, Mark, he's the bully. Was he mean to you? Well, I asked him if he wanted to play with us, and he wasn't sad anymore. He looks different when he smiles. He said he hasn't played with anyone since his daddy went away in a long time. Anyway, our teacher said we should look at the moon and see if the conditions are just right to see a moon bow. That would be so cool to see a moon bow. Yeah. Can I get down now? Yes. You want a cookie? Yeah. Okay. Just for you. There are angels in the air. There are angels everywhere. They protect you. They respect you. If you keep the faith, they will be at your grace. They may even leave a trace you may see, or it may be me. Look in the mirror, you might even see her. And remember, there are angels in the air. My favorite book ever. <laughs> Mine too, pumpkin. But now, it's time for bed. <laughs> <laughs> Can I spend tomorrow night at Amy's? Mom said it's okay. I don't see why not. Yes! We're going to the fun zone to ride rides and make popcorn and stay up late. Ooh, sounds fun. Just be careful, though. There's a lot of weirdos that hang out around there. I will, Daddy. I'm super strong. Feel. Wow. Well, I guess we don't have anything to worry about. Big muscles. <laughs> okay, honey, say your prayers and go to bed, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for my mommy and daddy. They're the best mommy and daddy ever. And please take care of them since I'm too little. To Amen. Good night, pumpkin. Elizabeth. Hi, Amy. Thanks. You're welcome. We love having her. I'll pick her up tomorrow afternoon. Sounds good. Okay. Give me a hug. I love you. Bye, Mommy. I love you. Can you have fun, okay? Okay. Bye. This is going to be so much yes. fun. I can't believe we get to go on the roller coaster ride. Yeah. I know. My heart takes you like it's never.
never been hard love Mr. and Mrs. Prince, I'm Dr. Lewis. I took care of Elizabeth when she came in. When the paramedics arrived, she had no pulse. I understand that the employees as well as the paramedics did everything they could possibly do. So, so you'll make sure she's okay? She'll be okay? There was nothing anyone could do. She's always been a healthy little girl. She had an enlarged heart. These things are very difficult to identify. They often go untreated and undiagnosed until it's too late. I am so very sorry for your loss. Listen to me, okay? I'm a police officer, okay? I need you to go back there and I'm fix sorry. her. I'm sorry, there was nothing we could do. I need you to go back there and fix her. You fix her, you bring me back, my little girl. It's hard to comprehend the death of a child. Maybe we won't know the answers as to why until our own passing. But one thing is for certain. Elizabeth Susanna Prince was one of God's very special souls. So on this sad day, let us mourn. But let us also celebrate the life of a miracle, the life of a true gift from God. Why didn't he warn us? He could have helped her. I don't know. Because she's too sweet of a spirit to be on this earth. Because she has more important things to do in heaven. Is that what you think? That God wanted our daughter to die? I don't know why. I just have to believe that there's a reason why I can't move on. I miss her so much. No. She need to be left alone right now.
Honey, Julie and I can help you pack up Elizabeth's things. I think it's time. I can't do that. We can do it for you. I'm not right, Mom. Oh. You just want to help. And I appreciate that, okay? I'm, I'm just not ready. I need everything to be the way it is, okay? Even when everything's packed up, it will still be Elizabeth's room. And when I'm ready, Steve will help me. Maybe you need to do something to help you heal. You no, know, there's a lot of volunteer programs out there. You're probably right. I'll look into it, okay? We're always here for you, sweetheart. We love you so much. One of the hardest pills to swallow is that life has to go on with or without you. People are so kind and attentive at first, but pretty soon they have to attend to their own lives. It leaves you feeling very alone at times. Steve has thrown himself into his work. I decided to take my sister's advice. I've been volunteering at a local homeless shelter. You need to pay up, buddy. Read them. Now, wheat. What do you mean hey, you're Frank. not able? How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, considering I'm in, I'm in a war zone. But this guy here, he won't fork over my cash. Oh, what's his name? I get him all confused. Oh, never mind. Wow. You sure look great in your uniform. Oh, thanks, Frank. You're sure a sight for these tired old eyes. Oh, thanks. You sweet talk to you. You watch my car? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll take care of it. Nothing will happen to it. OK, good to see you're you. You're safe. What are you doing? Dinner's on us. Dinner's on us. You guys have been wonderful. Mm -hmm. here at the shelter. Are you guys hungry? We're always hungry. How about some food and warm clothes? What's the catch? No catch, just food and warm clothes to start. And will that be real nice, lady? Me and Punk and I meet in a couple days. You OK, lady? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's your name? Tilly. Is her real name Pumpkin? I don't know her real name. She don't talk much. Where's this warm note you're talking about? Follow me. Hey, Lionel. Oh, hi. I just wanted to say thanks for helping out with the girls. Oh, that's what I'm here for. I'll make sure they have a room for the night away from the others so that they'll be safe. But, Laura, we got to call social services soon to protect my license. I know, but I was thinking we could hold out on that for a little bit until I find out why they're on the streets. I think that Tilly had a bad experience in foster care. All right, I'll follow your lead on this one. You're a godsend. But keep me posted. OK, thanks. Something happened to me today, and I know it may sound crazy, but I don't even know if I believe it myself. Can you just tell me? Hey, you know how I volunteer at the homeless shelter every Wednesday? Yes. And I pay that Frank guy to watch my car. Yes, I know. Well, the most beautiful but strange thing happened to me when I walked in those shelter doors. I saw Elizabeth Steve. What do you mean you saw Elizabeth? I, I mean, I felt this warm breeze all around me, and I, I looked up, and she was 
right there. What are you doing, Laura? You don't need to make up stories to make me feel better. I'm telling you the truth. Why would I make up stories about seeing our daughter? I followed her into the alley where I saw two homeless girls. They looked like they hadn't eaten in a really long time. Wow. Laura, that's truly amazing. I know. And I could tell that Elizabeth wanted me to help them, so I took them inside and I got them something to eat. What's a little girl doing on the street anyways? I don't know. I asked Tilly and she just said she showed up on the streets one day. You know what? That little girl, they call her Pumpkin. Just like you used to call her Elizabeth. Pumpkin, huh? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I miss my little girl. And here you are making up stories about seeing Elizabeth's spirit. Another little girl's called Pumpkin? I'm telling you the truth. I saw our daughter today. And I see her everywhere I go. In the backyard plane, at the playground, the grocery store. Her memories haunt me, Laura, but it's not her, okay? So stop it. She is dead. Our little girl is dead, and the sooner you can accept that fact, the sooner we can both move on. The only thing I see is a long road of grief ahead of me. I don't want to hear any more stories about the ghosts. She's probably seeing something, right? Wishful thinking. There's no book on how to survive a, the death of a child, Laura. We're both doing the best we know how. I just don't want to lose you, too. your vehicle. Chief Pinky's out there, and he's watching it while we're eating chow. Okay, thanks. Um, I brought two girls in here the other day named Punkin and Tilly. I can't seem to find them anywhere. Have you seen them? Well, they didn't stay very long. They were assigned a special ops mission. They left the next day under the cover of darkness. You okay? She's starting to show signs of battle fatigue. She'll be fine. She's just working through losing her kid. Hey, 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 hey,
Oh, wait, Mommy. What's your hurry? We're just talking to the girls. Get your hands off of me. My husband's a cop. I don't care about no 5-0. We're taking this little girl, and we'll be on our way. You're not going to touch her. And you're going to leave these two alone. Or all the cops hunt you down so fast, your heads are going to spin. I know your faces. <laughs> we know your face, too. You remember that. Hey, let's bounce. She ain't worth it. Catch you on the rebound. Thanks, Eddie. They wanted Punkin. I don't know why. It won't happen again. Not on my watch. What are you two gawking at? Let's get you some food. Come on. I don't see the girl, man. Man, that's because some nosy broad came out of nowhere saying her husband was a cop. So we bounced. Yeah, we're really not trying to catch no kidnapping charge, boy. Mm. No girl, no deal. You're paying full price. I see him first. Show me some cash. <laughs> Packing some heat now. Hurt yourself, boys. Uh, watch this. Looks good, honey. What's wrong? Trust me, you don't want to know. I said I'm sorry. I know. Then tell me. I saw Elizabeth again today. Don't do this. Told you. I'll shut up. Go ahead. It's like she wants me to help save this little girl. I was at the homeless shelter today, and I look up, and she's standing right there. I try to go over to her, and she led me straight to Pumpkin. There were some gang members outside harassing her, so I asked him to leave. Wait a minute. What do you mean gang members? Like, and they looked like real gang members. One of them had a cross tattoo right here on his arm. That's the gang we've been investigating. They're getting weapons. We have no idea where they're coming from. Look, I told you, I don't like you going down there. Can't you find something else to keep you busy? I handled it, OK? I mean, don't you get it? Elizabeth wants me to help Punkin. Laura, I know you have a big heart. But you have no idea what you're getting into here, what a kid from the street can be like, how emotionally damaged they are. Why don't we take her to social services? I can make sure she gets into a good home. I don't think that's the right move. She's just really scared. All I know is that Elizabeth keeps appearing to me and leading me straight to Pumpkin. Oh, you weren't there, man. Yes, I was. 1963, I was there. Yes. How are you? Hey, hey, Mr. Laura. How are you doing? Deepy's a little cold tonight. You know, I'm, I'm okay, but I think I have trench foot. Ah. But I should be asking, how are you? I'm good. Why do you ask? Well, I'm worried. I think our perimeter in Sector A might have a breach in it. But more importantly, I'm worried about you. I, I think you're seeing people who aren't there. <laughs> yeah, well, so do you. Well, but I'm, I'm supposed to because I'm crazy. Oh, I can explain. It's my daughter. I see her spirit. Well, that makes so sense. Scummy. I knew there had to be some sort of standard operational procedure, yeah. SOP. Uh, Wait a fact, minute. There she is again. What did you just say? Watch my car. Thanks. Hey, hey, what about us? Hey. Give me that. Back, soldier, back. At ease, at ease, at ease. Attention, that. attention, soldiers. You remember me, don't you? Jane, honey, you hide. You hide and don't come out. Go. What are you doing here? I said never come to my house. Don't play games with me, sir. Where are they? No. No. No, Molly. Hey, you remember me, 
don't you? I used to know your mom. Do you remember? I'm looking all over for you. Hey, lady, mind your own business. The girl and I are having a conversation. This girl is my business. She lives on the street. She ain't no business of yours. I help her at the shelter, and I'm going to help this little girl. Well, then you've done your good deed. I'll take it from here. Yeah, it doesn't happen like that. Let's go. She okay. ain't Get going nowhere. Get your hand off of me. Look, lady, I knew her mother. I took real good care of both of them before she died. I'm like a father to her. Right, pumpkin? Looks like she doesn't even want to get near you. It's a bad part of town. Bad things happen to pretty ladies down here who don't mind their own business. Good thing my husband's a cop, and certain people leave me alone, huh? I know who you are. Paco told me about you. Again, I told you not to come around here by yourself. Leave now. You heard the lady. It's time for you to retreat. I was just talking to the girl, that's all. You better get out of here. Get out of here. Right, punk. Where have you been? I told you not to leave her alone. This is the number one platoon. I was looking for some food. Sorry, Miss Laura. I'm not real good at this. You know, pumpkins look to have somebody like that care about her. Well, I care about you, too. How'd you end up in the streets, Tilly? Some bad stuff happened to me in foster care, that's how. I ain't going back. How do you know Pumpkin? She showed up a few weeks ago and took a liking to me. She doesn't say a word. I don't know where she came from. Well, you shouldn't be here on the streets. You have other options other than foster care, OK? I'm going to give you my husband's card. His name's Steve. He knows this terrific place that can help you find a job and help you learn how to take care of yourself, OK? What's going to happen to Pumpkin? I think I got an idea. Well, thanks, Miss Lara. You, know, you must be an angel. You know, that's it. You're my guardian angel. Everyone needs one, right, honey? Mary Jane, is that you? Do you know this little girl? Name you are? I'm Lara. I work here at the shelter. My name is Divine, and I used to know. I mean, you used to know who? I, I didn't say nothing. Well, can you help me? I don't know nothing. She's my girl. She's dead people. People not even in the war. What are you talking about? You know, like in that movie. She told me so one night when we were on the front lines patrolling. Frank, honey, I love you, but everyone on the street knows you're crazy. I gotta go. Oh, well, I see you're real. Yeah. <laughs> At least I think so. Hey, you coming? Come on. I have a huge favor to ask you. OK. What is it? I would love if you can look into Pumpkin's background for me. Let's see maybe if she has any family or why she's on the streets. I want to help her. I need to help her. Please. I'll see what I can do. Just be careful. And don't get too attached to this girl. Okay. okay, we need to find some more things out about her, okay? We can't save the world. I'm not trying to save the world, just one little girl. So what else do you know about her? Um, I was at the homeless shelter today, and there was this lime ball guy that wouldn't leave her alone. Did he threaten you? No, 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 relax, I took care of it. But I did find out her real name. It's Mary Jane. This homeless lady named Divine told me she's this character. She pushes around a shopping cart. <laughs> OK. I could work with that. And I gave Tilly your card and told her that you'd help her get off the streets into the Haven. Absolutely. I'd be happy to. What was that for? That is for putting up with your emotional wife and her Good Samaritan projects. I should do that more often. Yes, you should. This is Mac. It's Steve. Hey, how you doing, man? Well, surviving. How about you? I'm OK. Unfortunately, there's no shortage of runaways. Hey, uh, I have a favor I need to ask. 
Shoot. Well, my wife, Laura, she just started volunteering downtown at the homeless shelter, and she came across this little homeless girl. She says she reminds her of Elizabeth. Well, I'm really glad she found something to make her feel good. That's important. What is it you need me to do? Well, uh, apparently this girl showed up one day, and nobody seems to know where she came from. Uh, I have uh, a name and a picture that Laura took with her cell phone. She looks like she's about eight or nine. I need you to find out whatever you can about her. Has she been in the system? Not sure. I think her name is uh, Mary Jane. Uh, people on the street call her Pumpkin. Uh, it's not much to go on, but send me the pic, and I'll run her against all my old runaway cases and uh, see what I can come up with. Great. Thanks, Mac. I owe you one. I'll be in touch. got off the phone with Mac over at the Missing Children's Department. You have no idea how much that means to me. Well, don't get too excited just yet. And he's gonna do some digging, see what he can find out. Okay. So I have an idea. Okay. I would love if we could start a foundation honoring Elizabeth. You know, help kids and teens get off the street. You don't like it? No. No, I love it. I'm just... I'm just glad that you're starting to think straight now and not talking about Elizabeth's ghost anymore. What's that? Well, it's a rose petal. I found it in my office. Hi, right, Keegan. Uh, Good job, man. Look at that, man. Hey, watch out for landmines. 360, man. Sergeant Pinky. Keep an eye out for VC. Hey. Attention, soldiers. You seen Pumpkin and Tilly around? Not today. I think they went on another special ops mission. Have you seen your daughter's ghost? Not today. I believe you, Lara. They all think we're crazy, but we know better, huh? You're right. You watch my car for me? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. How many times are you going to look at that? Every single time. Hey, Lionel, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, sure. Today's not your day. No, but I just felt like I needed to be here. And I want to talk to you about a project I have going. Sure. What is it? I'm going to start a foundation in Elizabeth's honor to help kids get off the streets. What a great idea. What can I do? Well, you're already helping. But I was thinking maybe we could get the foundation lined up with your shelter so they could get food and clothes or maybe anything you need. Wow. I don't know what to say, Laura. The shelter desperately needs donations to keep that door open. And maybe we could have the fundraiser here, if that's OK? Absolutely. Thank you. I'll get started right now. No, no, thank you. You're a very courageous woman, and I'm sure that your daughter is up there somewhere right now with a great big smile on her face. I hope so. I got to go. Thanks. to jail. I've got to be here for my little girl. Fine. Fine. Give me my guns. Give me my guns and you're out. You're out for good. I promise. I'm not stupid, Polly. Get me the money first. Pumpkin! I told you to leave her alone. She's coming with me. No, I don't think so. She's coming with me. I've already found her a place. She'll have her own room, lots of toys. She'll get taken real good care of. Social services is on their way right now with a police escort. Look, lady, I'm getting sick and tired of seeing your face around here. You're interfering with my business. And what business would that be? Laura, is there a problem? Yeah, we're OK now that you're here. Is social services here yet? Oh, yeah. You're going to get yourself hurt real bad one day, lady, for putting your nose in other people's business. Well, if it keeps children away from creeps like you, I'll take that chance. 
reinforcements are here, sir. You better leave, son. I'm gonna drop some napalm on you. Yeah, what well, he said. Probably like a fish on Friday. If you ever see that man ever again, you have to call the police. He just tried to kidnap this little girl. I'll keep a good eye out for him. And I don't know where Tilly is, but will you tell her that Pumpkin's with me and she's okay? Well, I'll find her, and I'll make sure she has a safe place to sleep tonight. Thanks. Hey, do you trust me? Okay, I want to take you to a park where there's swings and we can play. Is that okay? Okay. Thanks, Lionel. Are you okay? Is there anything I can do? Yeah, we'll be okay. Thanks. All right. That woman, she's an angel. Sent straight from General Patton himself. God rest his soul. Absolutely. That's right. We have a lot in common, her and I, besides being soldiers in the war. How so? The people we see, they're real. It's the rest of you that are crazy. <laughs> I think you're right, Frank. you about something important, is that okay? I had a little girl once. Her name was Elizabeth, but she had something wrong with her heart and she died. And you remind me so much of my little girl. Even though she's in heaven, every time I'm at the shelter, she takes me straight to you. I've seen her with you. I know you have. She's an angel. She is an angel, and she's your guardian angel, because she takes me to you when you need help. I would really like if you would come stay with me and my husband until we figure out what's best for you. Are you all right with that? around when I see her. Her room is so beautiful. <laughs> she would have loved to share it with you, too. Laura, you didn't tell me we had company. Pumpkin? This is my husband, Steve. Steve, this is Pumpkin. Is that Elizabeth's teddy bear? Yes, it is. Will you be okay while I go talk to Steve for a minute? Okay. What's your problem? My problem is that little girl in Elizabeth's bedroom. Jeez, Laura, it's like you're trying to replace her. That's ridiculous, Steve. I'm just trying to help. Well, you should have talked to me first before bringing her here. I couldn't wait any longer. Elizabeth came to me with really sad eyes, took me to Pumpkin, and that same creep was trying to take her you away. You still should have warned me. There wasn't any time. What do you want me to do, leave a little girl out on the streets? She's just a child. What if she runs away, Laura? No, I don't care. I don't care. I had to try. Elizabeth wants me to help her. Elizabeth is gone, Laura. I knew you didn't believe me. I believe that you think you see her. Yeah, okay, well, Pumpkin sees her too. And she's always carrying that white rose, the same one from the coffin. Steve, you know me way better than this. That little girl is not sleeping in Elizabeth's bedroom. Fine. That honestly makes you feel better.
Hello? Hey. Steve, this is Mac. Hey, Mac. I found some information for you. Great, let's hear it. Found out who that little girl is. Her name is Mary Jane Monroe. Her mother was Sarah Ann Monroe. She was found dead in her home two weeks ago over on Park Street. The little girl's been missing ever since. Great work, Mac. You got anything else? Yeah, I found her birth certificate. There is no father listed. Um, I went ahead and did a family search, and I found a grandmother who's living in Connecticut. But she's 85 and living in a nursing home. She's confined to her bed, suffering from Alzheimer's. There are no other living relatives. All right, thanks, Mac. It's been a huge help. You know, Steve. It'll be real easy to adopt this girl. Yeah, I know. Just a thought. If I find any more information, I'll be in touch. just called. Did you find anything out? Well, Pumpkin's given name is Mary Jane Monroe. Her mother was found dead two weeks ago. It all makes sense. I wonder why she's so traumatized, you know? Yeah. She also has a grandmother with Alzheimer's who lives in a nursing home in Connecticut. But uh, there's no other living relatives. So she's all alone? Yeah. Steve? I know what you're going to say, Laura. You want to adopt her. Honey, it's the right thing to do, you know? I need to talk to you. I don't know you. Well, I know you. You're divine. Come cop. What do you want? My wife, Laura, works in the shelter. I'm looking for a girl on the street. <laughs> well, why don't you say so? I mean, go over to 13th and State Street. They got plenty there. That's cute. That's real cute. Her name's Tilly. Yeah, yeah. I know the girl you're talking about. I saw her in front of the shelter earlier. How did you know Pumpkin's name was Mary Jane? It was no mystery. I mean, me and her mama were friends. I'm the one who found her mama dead. I looked for Pumpkin, but I couldn't find her until I saw her the other day with Tilly. I may need to bring you in for some more questioning, so you stick around. Well, where am I gonna go? There goes the trip to Jamaica. Gotta call my travel agent, rearrange some flights. Tilly, right? What? Yeah, and you're a cop. What do you want? My name's Steve. My wife's Laura. She's a good lady for helping out Pumpkin. She wants to help you out, too. There's a place she mentioned called The Haven. It's a good place to get you off the street. I'd like to take you there. It's not foster care, is it? No. no it's not foster care. It's room and board, three meals a day. There's always a catch. There's no catch, Tilly. But you will have to make an effort. It's a great place. Or I wouldn't steer you wrong. But you're gonna have to make a decision. You need to go. You can't stay here. All right, I'll go. But if I don't like it, I'm out of there. Fair enough. Hop in. Get out of here. Go, go Tilly. Go.
Well, this is it. You, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't like these Tilly, places. Tilly, and... Listen, this is a great opportunity for you. Hey, don't blow it off. Do they have good food? <laughs> yes, they have good food. So I've heard. All right, well, thank you for helping me. Well, thank Laura. She'll be by to visit. Okay. Just be strong. You can do this. Okay, you have a support system in place now. People who love and care about you. Thank you. Let's get you inside. you're gonna make it good news ladies Tilly is off the streets and into the Haven how did you get her to go well, it wasn't me it's you she trusts and she wanted me to tell you how much she misses you so she's gonna be okay she's gonna be better than okay she's got a warm bed and plenty of food I know what that is that's a Glock 9 does it have 15 in the clip what how did you know that my mom showed me. She had lots of guns hiding around the house. Glocks, M16s, AK-47s. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, do you think you can show me where your mom kept those guns? Um, I don't really want to go back there. What if I went with you and protected you? Are you sure? That'll be fine. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. Okay, then I think I can go. All right, let's go do some investigating. We'll be back in an hour. Grab your jacket, okay? Be careful. Will you come in with me? Yeah, the guns are in the garage and I know the code to get in. Okay, let's go. Jane, honey, you hide. You hide and don't come out. Go. What are you doing here? I said never come to my house. Don't play games with me, Sarah. Where are they? It's not how it works. You give me the money and the guns will be delivered like always. I hired you to get those guns past customs for me. Don't piss me off, this Sarah. You know what I'm capable of. This is not working for me. It's too dangerous. I want out. 
There ain't no out. I can't risk going to jail. I've got to be here for my little girl. Your little girl? No, your little girl's got nothing. Look, fine, fine. Give me my guns. Give me my guns and you're out. You're out for good, I promise. I'm not stupid, Polly. Get me the money first. I'm gonna tell you this one more time, Sarah. Once! Give me my gun! I'm gonna tell you this one more time. You give me the money, and the guns will be delivered, and then I am out. It's over. End of story. Now get out. No! 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 Holy! Get up! Get up, Sarah! You ain't hurt that bad. Take a picture, pig. It lasts longer. You got nothing on me. I don't even know why I'm here. Try arms dealing and murder. Recognize her? That's Sarah Monroe. She was only 34 years old. Don't know her. Take a closer look! I said I don't know her! I've never seen her before in my life! It's funny because I have an eyewitness that puts you at the house the night of the murder. Yeah, and I got three alibis that say otherwise. Oh. Well, three alibis. I haven't even given you a date. And yet you have three alibis. You know what? I'm done answering your stupid questions. I want to see my lawyer. Are we through? For now. Get out of my face. Pumpkin, we wanted to talk to you about something. Okay, what? Well, we met with a lawyer today. Am I in trouble? <laughs> no, you're not in trouble. We wanted to talk to somebody about adopting you. We want to be your parents. You'd be our daughter. For real? For real. I'd like that very much. And we wanted to see if you want to keep your real name, Mary Jane, or get a completely new one. A new name? Like what? We were thinking Faith Elizabeth, because Elizabeth led us to you. I like that name. Then Faith Elizabeth Prince it is. Yes. But I'm still going to call you Pumpkin sometimes. OK. Come push me on the swing. Nice place. Whoa. What's the big hurry? I'll scream. Go right ahead. I know who you are. I know nobody cares about you. You're a little dirt bag with nowhere to go but right back to the streets where you belong. Now you're gonna help me find that little brat, Pumpkin. I don't know where she is. Oh, I think you do. I saw that pig drop you off here the other night. Get out of here now, Polly. Says who? That would be me. Never show your face here ever again. Do you understand? Now get out of here. Are you okay? 
Philadelphia. What did he say to you? He wanted to know where Pumpkin was. What'd you tell him? Nothing. He's never gonna hurt you ever again, I promise. How are you doing here anyway? I'm doing real good. Um, they treat me nice here, and I'm learning to type on a computer. I never knew learning could be so much fun. Well, in two years, they're gonna help you get a GED, and a counselor will find an apartment and a job whenever you're ready. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Laura. I'm so glad Pumpkin has you for a mom. And I'm very lucky to have her. Now, we want you as part of our family. We want to see you succeed. I'll make you proud, Miss Laura. Make yourself proud first, Tilly. Okay? Let's get you inside. Where's the girl, Divine? How should I know? I saw you talking to that pig the other night. Where's she at? Leave her alone! She don't know nothing! You have no business talking to Tilly. I didn't break any laws. What do you want with Pumpkin? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm warning you, Polly. You stay away from my daughter. Right, your daughter. I'll remember to stay clear of her. You've been warned. I don't want you going out with Pumpkin unless you're with me, okay? Why? I slipped up and mentioned she's our daughter. Polly knows she's with us. Why haven't you arrested him? The case isn't strong enough yet. We just need some more time. But until then, we need to keep a close eye on Pumpkin. Okay, we'll be careful. I'm gonna go check on her. Find out. Adoption went through. Word on the street she's gonna have a fundraiser at the shelter tomorrow night. Perfect spot to take her. Lots of people, very little security, if any. You know, if they tie me to her mother's death, they tie me to the guns. Think you can get her out without getting caught? I'm a professional. I want half the money up front, the other half on delivery. Once you have her, she's your problem. Done. What? You're beautiful, that's what. Thank you. This is a present for you, Mom. Thank you. I love it. Hey, let me put it on. It's beautiful. Now you can have both your girls close to your heart. I've been finding a few of these around the house lately. Me too. Me three. Shall we, ladies? Let's go. You guys are great. All right, wait here. I'm gonna go get this little girl and bring her out to you. All right. Go to the spot we discussed. Someone will be there to pick her up. I know, dude. I got it. And by all means, do not stop for anybody. Why would I stop for anybody? I don't know. Why'd you buy that hat? 
get the other half of our money. I'll get the money. I like this hat. Laura, how are you? You look wonderful tonight. This is my husband, Steve. Nice to meet you, sir. It's good to meet you. Good to see you. Good to have you here. Hello, ladies. I'd like to personally thank each and every one of you for coming here tonight to help kick off the Elizabeth S. Prince Foundation. This is a very worthwhile charity begun by a loving, giving, and honest woman, Laura Prince, and her courageous husband, Steve. If every one of us would take one lost soul, just one, into our hearts, we would live in a far safer world filled with many, many beautiful people. I began this shelter 20 years ago to provide as much help as I could for unfortunate children and teens and adults. Make no mistake, money matters. Money is the difference between taking 10 kids and 100 off the street. Please give me a hundred. I'd like to ask Laura Prince to come up and say a few words. First of all, I would like to thank every one of you for coming out tonight and helping us support our foundation. This it's a very, very special evening for my husband and I. When my daughter died. I don't feel very good in you. You stay here, I'll take her so you can listen to her. Thanks. Don't take your rights off. The beat of my heart actually changed. I knew I had to find something to keep myself busy, as well as in her honor. So I started volunteering here at the shelter, and I came across a little homeless girl named Pumpkin. She's actually here tonight. She'll be right back. She had to use the little girl's room. <laughs> Every single time I saw Pumpkin, she reminded me of my Elizabeth. Are you still in there? I strongly believe that no child should ever have to live on the streets. So my husband and I took Pumpkin into our hearts and our home. has helped fill all the emptiness. something that he wrote for you. Love you, Frank! Way to go, Frank! Yeah. There was no hope from whence she came, no calm, no peace. She had no name. Only sorrow and pain from guilt and range. One white rose brought depth and change. A reason to give from one woman's heart gave a little girl a chance and a brand new start. A beautiful homeless child in one white rose brought one ray of light. It's what Elizabeth chose. But Elizabeth's gift is what shone through, now a new path that nurtured and grew. 
There was this gift from heaven above, from tragic death came stability and love. But it was Elizabeth's gift that gave new meaning to their life. She saved a little girl and brought back a husband and a wife. We love you, Elizabeth. Seems to be the prom officer. You know you went right through that stop sign back there. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm really tired. It's been a long day. Yeah, she looks a little tired herself. She's been playing with her friends all day. Pumpkin back in? No. I was just going to go check on it. Is there anything we can do here? I'm, I'm very sorry. Pumpkin, you still in there? Julie? I got a daughter myself. I know how it is. Do me a favor, OK? Pay attention. Uh, right, I'm going to let you off with a warning. Th th thank okay. you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, officer. OK. Huh? Julie, wake up. What do you mean, chloroform? Where's Pumpkin? I don't know. Where's Pumpkin? I need you to stay here with it's Julie. It's Polly. It's Polly. I know it. It's Polly. It's Polly. Listen to me. No. Let me go with you. No. You're going to take care of Julie, okay? Listen to me. <laughs> Delta requested an APB on a nine-year-old girl, Caucasian, blonde hair, brown eyes, approximately four foot four, 70 pounds, believed to be abducted in the Midvale area around 1930 hours. Seven Delta, copy. Did you see anything? No, what happened? Oh, I don't want nothing to do with him. I'll get myself killed. Listen, I know you know something. You knew her mother. You said you were her friend. Divine, I already lost a daughter once. I am not going to let that happen again. Please. She, she was my friend. Then help me find Polly. How? Show me where he lives, where he hangs out. I know a couple. Let's go. Sir, sir, I need to ask you a few questions. Sure thing, officer. What is your name? My name is Gil Jensen. And your business here? Part of the catering company. We've been serving food and cake during the speeches. I haven't seen anything unusual? Anyone suspicious? No, sir. Just been doing my job. I've been in and out of the kitchen all night. It's a pity, too. It seemed like everything was going so well for that lady. Well, thank you for your cooperation. Here's my card. Give me a call if you happen to remember anything. I will. Thank you, Officer McKenzie. You have a good night. I thought I told you to never call me on this number. Where is she, man? This is taking too long. Look, take a deep breath, Rook. She'll be there in a minute. Just relax. Tell me to relax. I'll relax when I see her. Where's she at? Everything went off without a hitch. You just make sure you have the other half of my money, and don't you ever call me on this number again. Where are you? I I'm almost there. I, I 
had a little thing. It was a little snafu. It's nothing. Sna snag? What do you mean you ran into a little snag? It's nothing. What do you mean I'm an idiot? I'm not an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm... Don't, you, don't, you, don't you hang up on me. Idiot. I'm a killing. This is it. Pull over. So what is this? Look, I know you're involved. You help me find Pumpkin and I won't arrest you for arms stealing. Okay, this is where Polly hangs out. I I used to make deliveries behind the dumpster. No one suspected a homeless lady pushing a shopping cart to be delivering guns. So Pumpkin's mom would call and then Polly would come and he'd pick him up. I don't I don't see his car. I don't think he's here. Where where else would he be? I made deliveries to one other place. Where? A warehouse on the west side. Show me. What took so long? What, is she dead? She's sleeping. She'll be up in a minute. How much to finish the job? Finish the job. We did our job. Disposal's your part of it. Give me my money. It's all there. It better be. Get rid of her. Easy. That's his car. Seven Delta requesting backup. Kidnapping suspect is located at 1300 South, 300 West. You stay here. I ain't going nowhere. Beat anybody who comes around here. Shut up! Put it down! Put it down now! No, 
the hands off her! Let her go! Put the gun down! Put it down! Put it down now! Now! Put the gun down! All right! Slowly! All right! It's the murder. Put your hands up! Smart cop! You called for backup. Looks like I might need a hostage to get out of here, huh? Funny thing about hostages, you know, you only need one. Turn around! Now! You're gonna be okay, sweetheart, okay? I said turn around! The police are coming, you're gonna be fine, all right? Turn around! Turn around! On your knees! On your knees! We should be thanking you, Laura. Without you, none of this happens. But you know, in spite of the scare, we had a really big night. There's over $100,000 in checks in that envelope. Your foundation is up and running. Trace you may see, or maybe me. Look in the mirror, you might even see her. Think about them. Dream about them. And remember there are angels in the air. You know, this was Elizabeth's favorite book. Well, it's mine too. When tragedy strikes, it is faith that keeps us going. Our faith must remain strong through the dark days until we heal enough to actually see the light. In death, Elizabeth gave me the greatest gift of all, a reason to live and love again. <laughs>